Hey, how you guys doing out there today? This is Stefan Jimenez from the Roto Beast team, and I'm here to present you our NBA picks for Friday, January 2nd. Um, if you're new to this channel, please make sure and click the subscribe button below. This way you can watch all of our NBA, MLB, and NFL videos. And please make sure and click the like button on this video as we really appreciate it. You know, we've been getting tons of likes. We really appreciate the support. It really, really helps us out. So please make sure and click that like button for us once again. So yeah, we got a nice little juicy slate. We're just going to run through it real quick. Don't got much time. Um, nine game slate. There's some spots that we're really going to want to attack. Um, first, we'll start with the Rockets going into Phoenix to face the Suns. This game has a 226 and a half implied total. Houston's favored by two. Then we got the Warriors. Um, go, I'm sorry, you got the Warriors going into Milwaukee to face the Bucks. This game has a 223.5 total. Golden State's favored by 5.5. Then we got the Cavs going in to Indiana to face the Pacers. This game has a 223 implied total. Cleveland's favored by 1.5. Then we got the Magics going into Washington to face the Wizards. Um, this game has a 218 implied total, and Washington's favored by 10. Um, and then the last game I'm really going to be looking at is going to be the Nets at Hawks. Um, this game has a 211 implied total, and the Hawks are favored by 3.5. So I'm just going to run through these. We're just going to bam, bam, bam them real quick, okay? We got Chris Paul. Going against the Suns, very up-tempo game. Um, the thing about Chris Paul is his price tag is up. But, I mean, he just went off, had the best game of his season, of his season so far. 32 minutes, 37.7 rebounds, 11 assists for 69 fantasy points. I mean, Chris Paul does have upside. I told you guys that the other day. For him to hit value at this price tag, though, we need about 54. Um, I mean, it's a high price tag, but this is a really, really good matchup. We got John Wall. I mean, he's back up over 10,000 again. But, I mean, John Wall's coming off one of the best games of his season as well. 42 minutes against Utah. Uh, for him to hit value, we're going to need about uh, 52 um, against the uh, Magic in a very up-tempo game. John Wall's in a great spot as well. Both of these guys are in really good spots. The problem is, is their, their price tags are up. Um, then we got, let me see. What we got? Oh, Curry. So he's been ruled out for Friday. Um, so you know that's gonna really make every. It's gonna make Clay. It's gonna make um, Durant. It's gonna make Draymond. They're all gonna be in a lot more juicy matchups. Um, you're gonna want to look at them a little bit more. Next point guard we're gonna look at though is gonna be Dennis um, Schroeder. I mean, this guy's just been very consistent this season. He's averaging 34 fantasy points on the season. For him to hit value at a 7.4 price tag, you need about 36, 37. Um, I mean, the guy's playing well. Very up tempo game against Brooklyn. Um, I really like Schroeder. Last point guard I'm going to talk about is going to be Ricky Rubio. I mean, he's just too cheap. For him to hit value, he's 25. I mentioned him last time, and he was even cheaper, and he went off for 34 fantasy points against Washington. Um, I mean, he's playing solid right now. The minutes, you know, you got to like the minutes. Uh, the fact that he got 41 minutes right there, is, it's promising, you know, showing that, you know, they are willing to play him, you know, a bunch of minutes. He's going to average, you know, around 30, 32 minutes overall, though. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, price too cheap. I really like Rubio. Next, we're going to go with, I mean, I like all these guys. Don't get me wrong. I just don't like their price tags. I like Booker, though. I mean, I think Booker's going to be a really good play on this slate. Going against Rockets, very up tempo game. He's going to be battling with Eric Gordon. Gordon is an offensive player. He's not a defensive player. Um, you know, and Booker, I mean, he's had a couple of decent games, but he hasn't had really any any really good games lately. Uh, for him to hit value, we're going to need about 38. I think this is a great spot for him to go off. Um, I mean, I could definitely see, you know, 40-plus uh, fantasy points in this matchup. Um, so Booker is going to be one of my top plays at shooting guard. And then we got McCollum. I mean, McCollum, he's playing well right now. I mean, he has 40 more, 40 fantasy points or more in four straight games, five of the past six, um, you know, seven of the past nine. I mean, he's on fire. I mean, he's playing very, very well. He's scoring the ball right now. He's doing a little bit of everything. Um, you know, he's, especially when, uh, you know, Lillard, he's been out. Um, you know, McCollum really put the team on his back. And even if, you know, since Lillard's back, he's kind of getting back in the groove of things. You know, McCollum, you know, he didn't miss a beat even with Lillard coming back. Um, so I like him once again in this spot. For him to hit value, you're going to need about 38. Um, I definitely can see him getting there. Then you got Drew Holiday, very fair price tag. 36 for him to hit value. I mean, the guy's playing massive minutes. And he's getting you there. I mean, 36 or more in, in three of the past four games. Um, you know, you need 36 for him to hit value. Um, I definitely think that he's going to get there. Next, we got Andrew Wiggins. Wiggins against New York. 
Um, I mean, New York isn't a very good team. I like Wiggins. He's playing very well right now. He's scoring the ball. He's got 19 or more actual points in three of the past four. Um, you know, for him to have value, he need 31. He's averaging 29 on the season. I mean, he's been very consistent, um, and I like him. You know, I think he's a good play. Um, one guy, though, that I'm really going to talk about is Will Barton. With Gary Harris out today, um, I mean, this guy's pretty much a lock. He's a must-start, in my opinion. He's going to play massive minutes. Um, you know, Memphis isn't the best matchup, but, I mean, Memphis isn't the same team as they used to be where they used to be a lockdown defense. Um, Will Barton, 6,000. He's shown us, you know, numerous times this year when he gets um, minutes, he, I mean, produces. You know, that's that's one thing that we know that he's going to do. He scores the ball. He plays good defense. Um, Will Barton, going to put him in my lineup as um, a first play. Small forward. We've got LeBron. Coming off of, of two embarrassing losses, he's only scored 38 and 30 fantasy points. He's actually only got 38 fantasy points um, at least in three of the past four, so he's not playing very well right now. The price tag is up. For him to hit value, you're going to need about 57. Um, I mean, LeBron is LeBron. He's averaging 54 on the season. He could definitely get you there, uh, but I mean, he's not playing good right now. The Cavs aren't playing good right now, so I'm going to have to consider LeBron a little bit more of a GBP play. We got Antetokounmpo. I mean, Antetokounmpo, I mean, he's in the same boat as LeBron. High price tag, and he just hasn't been getting there. I mean, both of these guys are good GPP plays, but I think I'm going to shy away from them in cash. Um, I mean, I just, they, they've been, you know, they're they're actually fairly consistent players, but they've been inconsistent the past couple games. Then you got Kevin Durant. I mean, Curry's out. Um, so if you're going to pay up a small four, I think Kevin Durant's going to want gonna be the guy that you're going to want to pay up for. I mean, whenever you know, he's shown us when, when Curry's out, you know, he's going to do work. Um, you know, going against the Bucks, this is going to be a very competitive game back and forth. Um, I really like Kevin Durant. I'm going to put him in there, our core as well. Then we got Jimmy Butler. I mean, Jimmy Butler is Jimmy Butler. Um, you know, he's he's playing very well. I, it took him a little bit of time to kind of get adjusted to a new team. Um, now we can say he's pretty much fairly adjusted. I mean, he's filling up the stat sheets, doing a lot of good things. I mean, he's another guy I probably would prefer over James and Andrew Cooper. And you're going to save a little bit of money. For him to hit value, you need about 50. Um, he's averaging 41 on the season. I mean, he's got 60 and 51 in the past two. Um, so Jimmy Butler, he's a really good play. That's a guy like Ariza. He doesn't do nothing special. He is a little bit inconsistent. But one thing that we do know, he plays defense and he plays a lot of minutes. He's going against a Suns team who turns the ball over. I, know I could definitely see a reason getting a couple of steals, a couple of blocks here. If he can make a couple of shots, I mean, he'll easily hit this um, price tag. Uh, for him to hit value at 5.3, we need about 26. He's averaging 25 on the season. Um, so on the lower end, Ariza is a very, very good play. Next, we got Davis. Um, I mean, I, I don't really care for him, but anytime I'm just going to mention him. He's questionable for today with his ankle. I mean, he has 80-point upside. He was well on his way to a really good game before he got hurt last game. Um, so I think he's somebody you could consider in GPP as well. Um, Porzingis, price tag has dropped. For him to hit value, you, know, you need about 42. He's averaging 40 on the season. Um, I mean, He's got you 30, 40 and 41 in the past two games. Very close to value. Um, Porzingis, um, I like him. I mean, against Minnesota, um, if they're going to have any chance in this game, he's going to have to play well. I mean, he's getting the shots. He's getting free reign in this team. Um, so Porzingis, yeah, great play. Draymond, without Curry, pick up a couple extra assists. Um, he kind of had an off game against the Clippers, but a lot of the Warriors have bad games against them, you know, to be completely honest. Um, he's probably going to play, you know, how minutes. I think this game is going to be close. They're going to need him on the floor. They're going to need Durant. Um, so, yeah, Draymond. I do like Draymond. Price down a little bit. Very fair price. Um, Draymond's a really good play. And we got Gibson going against New York. He's going to be guarding Porzingis. Hopefully he doesn't get in foul trouble. But, I mean, he doesn't really get in foul trouble too, too much. And, I mean, he's been playing well. I mean, it's something. He's very. He's a solid cash game play. 5.7 price tag. For him to hit value, you need about 28. He's averaging 27 on the season. I mean, he only got 20 min 28 minutes against OKC. But before that, I mean, 30-plus minutes or more. And I don't know how many straight games. Consistent cash game play. You could definitely lock him in. Um, one guy I'll just quickly mention 
price tag went down a little bit. Up tempo game against Washington for imminent value. All you need is thirty five. You're averaging thirty five on the season. Um, I mean, he had off game against Milwaukee, but before that, I mean, got you, you know, thirty, forty three. 35, he got you at 55 not that long ago. So, like I said, value, 35. I definitely think you can get there. Next, we're going to talk about Dragon Bender real quick. I think this guy's going to be crazy owned. He's a really, really good value play. Up-tempo game. For him to hit value, you're going to need about uh, 18. You know, it's not very much at all. Um, I mean, he played 39 minutes against OKC, had the best scoring game of his career, so he's going to come into this game with confidence. Very up-tempo game against the Rockets. I definitely think that this, this fits his skill build, this particular matchup. So I like Dragon Bender. Next, we'll move on to center. DeMarcus Cousins, 11,000 price tag, 55 for him to hit value. I like him more if Davis is out. Um, you know, then he's going to, you know, he gets a lot more usage just Davis out. If Davis is in, um, I mean, he's still in play, but, you know, I think he's you know, way more of a GPP play um, if Davis plays. Either way, I mean, 55 for value. It's a high price tag. There's other guys that probably would pay up for it, but DeMarcus Cousins, best center in the league. You got to definitely mention him. Towns. I, mean, I like this guy pretty much any time he plays. For him to have value, you need about 45. Very fair price tag. Um, he's averaging 43 on the season. This whole Timberwolves team as a whole, they're all playing very, very well right now. Um, you know, I, I, I really like the um, the Timberwolves. I think that they're going to be a really good team. And, you know, they have a chance to upset somebody in the playoffs. That's one thing I will say. Um, Carl Anthony Towns, solid spot. Then we got Nurchic against his prices are actually down a little bit. He's going to be banging with Boogie. They're going to need him in there. Um, I mean, he's, he's playing solid right now. For him to have value, you're going to need about 34. He's averaging 30 on the season. Um, and like I said, he's been playing good right now. He's been playing very well. I mean, against Houston, City, only had a 27 and 20 minutes. But besides that, I mean, 32, 36, a 28, which is uh, 43, 45, 35, 40. So, I mean, he's playing well for the most part. You know, you got to like him. I think he's a guy you can plug in. He's not going to kill you if you want to pay down a little bit. At center, then we got Boyambo, 5.5, up-tempo game against Washington. Um, I mean, the guy, since he's been starting for Vooch, um, he's playing well. I mean, 5.5 price tag for him in value, you need about 27. Um, I mean, one thing is he is inconsistent. I mean, that's, I mean, he, he was playing well. He had three, uh, four straight games of 31, 31, 43, 41, and then he kind of fell off, 8.2, back to 26, then a 17, then a 31. So he's been kind of up and down a little bit. But against Cleveland, Cleveland's struggling. Um, he's going to be battling with Kevin Love. Kevin Love, you know, he, he can't face this dude. This dude's a big old, I'm sorry, he's going to be battling against Washington, um, against Gortat. They're going to be going back and forth. Um, you know, I like him. I definitely like him. Last guy we're going to talk about is going to be Gortat on the other side of the ball. I mean, I know you guys are like, why are you always being, hey, he's just too cheap. Plain and simple, he's cheap. You know, that's what I really like about him. Um, I think he's a guy that you can plug in very in an up-tempo game against Magic. Plug in, he's going to hit your value, and you can move on. Uh, 4.5 price tag. All you need is about 23 for him to hit value. I mean, that's, that's cheap. It's dirt cheap for him. So, yeah. Hey, that's kind of where I'm at with these plays. Sorry I couldn't get this out last night. I got home late, had a basketball game. Uh, but let me just get you my, my picks at each position, and we can kind of go through it, um, get out of here. So, um, I already gave you my shoot guard. I gave you my small forward. Power forward. Um, we got to go with, where is he at? Where is he at? We just talked about him. Dragon Bender. I think he's going to be a really good cash game um, staple. So that, that's that's a really good quarter to start with. Um, then we got a guy I actually like a little bit too is I actually like Bledsoe a little bit as well. It's going to be a very up-tempo game against Golden State. Um, so I think Bledsoe, I think he could be a really good play. Um, but I like Schroeder a lot against Brooklyn. Um, I mean, the guy, I mean, he just, he's been very consistent, up-tempo game. They're home. They're favored in this matchup. Um, and then at center, let me see. And I like Towns. I'm going to go right back to the well. So something like this, I think, is a really, really solid core. I mean, you could uh, get rid of Schroeder. I mean, I think Schroeder probably is a little bit more of a GPP play. Uh, but, I mean, Schroeder is a good play, though. I mean, you could even pay up if you want. Go with Chris Paul. Go with John Wall. Um, you know, I, I like both of them as well. Um, if I had, um, so let me see. 
yeah, no, this is this is what I like. This is honestly what I like. The only other thing I'd probably do, you could go something like this. Go John Wall, take him out, and then you could go with like you know, we'll say nurture to God talk. You could even do something like that. Something like this is nice as well. So yeah, I mean that that's kind of where I'm at. You know, I think that Barton, Durant, Bender that you have to have them in your lineup tonight, in my opinion. Um, and then, you know, you got some other spots that are a little bit more flexible um, that you could, you know, play with. But, yeah, hey, let's get this money tonight. I'll talk to you later. Make sure to hit that like button for me. Peace.